right, this is the GT Force Driving Pro steering wheel made specifically for the Gran Turismo games, as you can see by the logo. And then, uh, or thus, usable on the PS2 and PS3. I'm using a crappier camera today, so, you, so please don't expect crisp focus. You can up to your PS2 or PS3 using the USB cable, which is hardwired into the back of the thing. As of February 26th or so, 2010, we stu still do not have Gran Turismo 5, but we do have Gran Turismo 5 Prologue. This wheel does work with the PS3 and GT5 Prologue. All right, got a little, little bleh, got a little better focus now. Here's a look at the wheel up close. We have a D-pad, which uh, doesn't feel very precise, but usually you're just going to be using it for moving around menus and such. L2 and R2 buttons up here, your normal PlayStation buttons all around here, L3 and R3 here, start and select here. This particular model also has paddle shifters on the side which are equal to your L1 and R1 buttons. And over here if you're a fan of manual transmission in Gran Turismo games you can use the lever here which isn't like a traditional, uh, you know, thing you'd find in a car, but instead you can just move up and down sequentially through the gears. At the bottom you can see this is made by Logitech and is the Driving Force Pro model. There are a variety of different uh, models out there. On the back, this is where the USB cable comes out of. This plug here is for the gas and brake pedals, which plugs in like that. And here's your uh, AC adapter plug. I remember I had a wheel for uh, the PS1 back in the day, and uh, it didn't have clamps like this one does. It um, went under your legs as you were sitting down, so it was kind of a little bit more awkward. Still worked decently though, but this one's uh, a little bit more comfortable to use. Here's how the clamps work. Alright, let me get the cords out of the way. Not quite sure if there's a, uh, a specific stand made exactly for this wheel out there, but uh, if you do buy this, you're going to need something to clamp it onto. I have, uh, let me lift up the camera here. Just a, uh, I think it's supposed to be like a TV stand. It has these uh, wheels on the bottom. An opening down here. That's where I uh, put the gas and brake pedals, and then a uh, place up here to clamp it onto. But here we go. You see, uh, you turn this thing up here and uh, it adjusts how tight you want it to be. Obviously, uh, you center it or wherever you want it to be, put it wherever you want it to be, then uh, tighten this up and it should hold pretty well. I would assume you wouldn't want to have this on a, uh, a higher quality piece of furniture uh, because there probably would be some damage associated with the clamps down here. All right, now taking a look at the pedals. You have your uh, vertic vertically oriented one as your gas pedal, and the other one is a brake. On the bottom, you have rubber feet for if you're playing on, uh, I guess, linoleum or hardwood floor, or the bottom of the stand. Or if you have it on carpet, you can pop this out. It has spikes on it, so it uh, grips onto the carpet. The wheel itself is rubber, so it'll prevent uh, slippage during gameplay, which is always nice. Also, it has force feedback, which uh, makes the steering feel a little bit more realistic. Provides a little bit more resistance and uh, helps you get a better feel for the road when you're driving. You can steer a uh, full 900 degrees with this wheel, depending on the game you're playing. Certain games that aren't Gran Turismo... Uh, you can only steer 90 degrees to the left and 90 degrees to the right. For Gran Turismo, you can steer like this. There's your 900 degrees. Now for some uh, gameplay, I guess. Why not? Uh, we got. Gran Turismo 4 going up here. Don't know how well you're going to be able to uh, see everything that's going on.
basically because uh, this is the only camera I have currently. I would have liked to get, uh, you know, two camera angles, but... Alright, first I'll film myself. Uh, the stand I have it on is kind of short. So I guess if you were, well, taller than I am, which is a pretty easy thing to do, then uh, you might have a problem, but... I'm sitting on a, well, uh, probably lower than average couch, and uh, you could kind of accommodate yourself pretty well to the height here. Not uh, as realistic as being a real car would be, but, uh, you know, still gets the job done, still pretty easy to uh, maneuver. I'm just going to change the video output really quick to HD since I have it on the good TV out here and we'll turn on the music so it's not completely silent alright should probably also turn up the volume <laughs> then we'll get to a race somewhere alright here we go in my Nissan Skyline GTR from 1999. Uh, we'll start a race here. It's gonna be kind of hard to get the uh, TV perfect in perfect focus while I'm driving here. Um, I don't know. Let's do a quick race somewhere for you. Wish I could find some kind of uh, perfect camera angle to show the steering wheel and the TV at the same time, but. Uh, just doesn't work that way. So what I'm going to do is... Start the freaking race. Ah. While you're driving, you could have uh, a little picture of the steering wheel up, just to give you a little idea. You can see the uh, blue bar going up and down, that's the kind of control you have over the acceleration, uh, like a gradual analog kind of thing, same with the brakes too. See so if I can get that steering wheel up for you. It's going to be virtually impossible trying to keep the, uh, the TV centered in the uh, camera and driving well at the same time. Luckily my car has good brakes and I didn't mess that up completely. The obvious advantage of using a steering wheel instead of uh, the analog stick on a controller is, you know, it's obviously better to drive a car with a steering wheel than a little joystick. There's also a little force feedback in the wheel, like I said before, which gives you a better idea of what the road's like. And overall, it just makes it seem a lot more realistic. As you can see, if you haven't seen uh, Gran Turismo 4 before, this is a very spectacular looking game for coming out in 05. Spin out. There you go. Alright. Have some final thoughts, I guess. Alright, so if you have a PS2 or PS3 and are a big fan of racing games, or even casually like racing games, uh, a wheel like this wouldn't be a bad idea for a purchase. Makes the games a lot more realistic and a lot more fun. Gives you more precise control over the car. And. I think you could basically use it for most racing games on uh, either of the systems. If you are a Gran Turismo fan, I highly recommend this. You probably just should get one right now somewhere. But I think this model is kind of uh, old and is probably discontinued by now, but I'm sure they have uh, other more recent models that you can go out and look for that uh, probably aren't any less in quality than this. 
So yes, uh, in conclusion, you really can't go wrong with this. It'll greatly enhance your uh, racing game experience. As usual, thanks for watching. More reviews to come.